Calculate 1 over the cube root of 2 minus 1 plus 1 over the cube root of 2 plus 1. What shall we do firstly? Now you see, the numerators are very complicated. So, let's firstly add these two fractions together, and that is Cube root, of, cube root of 2 plus 1 plus the cube root of 2 minus 1 then over the product of these two denominators. Cube root of 2 minus 1 times cube root of 2 plus 1. So then, look, our numerator is 2 times the cube root of 2, isn't it? And our denominator is cube root of 2 times cube root of 2. It is cube root of 4. Minus cube root of 2 plus cube root of 2 is 0. And then minus 1. So it is this one. Or what you can do is, using the formula, a plus b times a minus b equals a squared minus b squared. So that is also one of the motivations why we should add these two fractions together since their denominators are actually kind of conjugated to each other. So now, one of our problems is that we have a cube root on the denominator. Again. So what can we do? Now, we need another formula. And that is a cubed minus b cubed. It is a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. If we're willing to get rid of this cube root, then a good idea will be our cube root of 4 is actually a, and b is 1. So it is the cube root of 4 minus 1. If we're willing to get rid of this cube root, then we can multiply this denominator by cube root of 4 squared plus cube root of 4 times 1 plus 1 squared. So now we can multiply this term on the numerator and on the denominator simultaneously. So it's going to be 2 times cube root of 2 times this one is the cube root of 4 squared is 16 plus cube root of 4, and then plus 1. This is our new numerator. And our new denominator will turn to this one times this one. And that is cube root of 4, all cubed, which is 4, minus 1 cubed, which is 1. So our denominator will be very nice. What about our numerator? Not really. So, now, you can see, we get 2 times the cube root of 32 plus 2 times the cube root of 4 plus 2 times the cube root of 2. Isn't it? Ah, sorry. It is 2 times the cube root of 8 here, so... Oh, sorry, here's not 4, here is 8, because we have 2 times cube root of 2 times cube root of 4, which is 2 times cube root of 8 over 3. And now, we should simplify this result, shouldn't we? Look, 32 is 4 times 8. So cube root of 32 is actually cube root of 4 times cube root of 8. And cube root of 8 is 2, so it is 4 cube root of 4 plus 2 times cube root of 2. Cube root of 8 is 2, so it is plus 4 over 3. And that is the final answer. So, if you get it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to me for more info questions, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!